Okay, example number one. A steady current of 1 ampere is maintained in a metal conductor for 2 minutes. How many electrons are transferred through it in the time? Okay, so uh, from this example, we are given okay, we are given the current which is 1 ampere, also time which is 2 minutes. So from that problem, we are required of what? We are required to solve for the number of electrons. Okay. How are we going to solve for this? Now, if, if you could recall class, um, one column is equivalent to a charge of 6.28 times 10 raised to positive 18 electrons. Okay. That is the number of electrons in just one column. Now, if you could recall the formula regarding current, current is charge over time okay so since our um, required is the number of electrons and we may be able to solve for the number of electrons by knowing the charge so um, rearranging this formula so charge is equal to current times time okay but recall class that in order for you to uh, to use this formula your current should be in amperes and your time should be in seconds but if you could recall our given time is in minutes so therefore we need to convert it first to second which is two minutes convert to second so in one minute there are 60 seconds so two minutes times 60 is obviously 120 seconds so okay na our our um, units are okay already so we can now substitute it to our formula so q is or charge is 1 ampere times 120 seconds or that is 120 columns so from our um, conversion 120 column in one column there are 6.28 times 10 raised to 18 electrons so therefore the number of electrons in one ampere in two minutes is 7.536 times 10 raised to positive 20 electrons and that is class our answer now for example two okay for example number two a steady current of 0.5 ampere flows through a wire. How much charge passes through the wire in one minute? If you could observe, it is the same example from the example one. The only difference is that in this case, we are asked how much is the charge. Unlike in the example number one, it is the number of electrons that is required. So in this case, you will first determine the given which is the current of course which is 0.5 amperes and the time which is one minute the required is charge or the symbol is big letter Q so to solve this we will still use the same formula which is current is charge over time and to solve for the charge simply multiply current and time and the same we need to convert first the time which is from minutes into second. So one minute is obviously 60 seconds. And from that, um, we will go back to the, to the formula, which is 0.5 amperes times 60 seconds. And from that, the answer is 30 columns. That's the answer for example number two.